Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Thursday, August 24th, 2023. And today I'm talking about the flesh-eating bacteria, otherwise known as Vibrio vulnificus. So this is a rare infection, but the CDC cause, says it causes an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the United States every year. Now, so far this year, it has caused more than a dozen infections and some deaths. So what is this? It's a bacteria, naturally occurs in warm brackish seawater and requires salt. What is brackish water? Again, it's water that uh, is a mixture of fresh and salt water. It's often found where the rivers meet the sea. So here's what you need to know, especially if you plan to go to the beach or if you like eating raw oysters. Well, you can come in contact with this Vibrio vulnificans every day during everyday activities such as swimming, fishing, or even walking along the beach. Now, these infections are preventable if you do these things for the majority of people. Avoid eating raw or undercooked oysters or other shellfish. If you have a wound, including something as a uh, piercing, tattoo or a recent surgery, stay out of salt water, stay out of brackish water if possible. This includes waiting at the beach. Now, if you have a wound and you absolutely intend to go to the beach or be in this brackish water, cover up your wound with a waterproof band-aid. Now, you also want to wash wounds and cuts thoroughly with soap and water if you've been in the environment where this bacteria likes to thrive. So what are the symptoms of infection? Now these are general uh, and they can include gastrointestinal, watery diarrhea often accompanied by stomach cramping, nausea, vomiting, and fever. Uh, you can have a bloodstream infection and generally bloodstream infections are never good and they are manifested by fever, chills, uh, sometimes your temperature can go down. You can have dangerously low blood pressure. And if you get the uh, flesh-eating uh, wounds, you can have skin uh, lesions. And speaking of wound infections, they can be anywhere. They can be on the limbs, but they can spread to other parts of the body. And again, with open wounds, leaking fluids, fever, painful discoloration of the nearby skin, now this is a serious and life-threatening infection, folks, and it can happen fast. People infected by this bacteria often require ICU care. They end up with limb uh, amputations, and one in five die often within a day or two of becoming ill because this bacteria can cause you to go into septic shock. So who is at risk? Everyone. But those at greatest risk are people with weakened immune systems and the elderly. Now, we've seen this uh, Vibrio vulnificus infections occur following hurricanes or storm surges and coastal flooding. So early diagnosis, recognition, and treatment is the key. This infection can be treated with IV antibiotics and doctors know how to treat this infection or they can consult the CDC website. But again, you gotta get the people to an emergency room, to a hospital where they can receive care. That's my message today, as always, be safe and be well.